Hi everybody, Brian here, 7 o'clock, uh, Tuesday, December 4th, 2018. Going to do another market analysis here. Um, question, um, I've already put up a video regarding my watch list. I've already gone through and downloaded all the reports. Um, for crypto, crypto is going through an interesting uh, situation right now where, if it can load up, um, just load up all these different, uh, meantime, I can also go to my reports. All right. So here we have the latest set of reports and we have the three different, um, asset classes. So the first one I want to show you is the, uh, actually we just got our, looks like our website still coming up. So the first one we can look at is, uh, let me just see here, we have our CFD or crypto data. So let me just show you that to you right now. Um, when you look at what is profitable right now, uh, BNB is the one that is on fire, if I can get it. Okay, here we go. So here you can clearly see that BNB, Ethereum, BNB, Bitcoin is up 19 plus percent, followed by WAN, BTS, XMR, uh, BAT Ethereum, QTUM, SC Ethereum. Those are the positive ones. On top of that, when you look at the volume, you can clearly see who the dominator is. Forces are BNB, Ethereum, BNB, Bitcoin. So something has happened where BNB, Bitcoin is number one at 26.24 on the volume front. Meanwhile, BTS, Ethereum is number two. Okay, so if we look at that, the, the thing I have been trying is let me show you, I, I've introduced this, or reintroduced, I guess you could say, is the um, watch list. Uh, this is just the database end, but there's no watch list yet for crypto. You could call that still being in development. The next one we can look at are the CFDs. So I've already downloaded all the available data. Um, it's been a pretty brutal day. If I was to look at the uh, finance of Yahoo, it's been a very bad day for markets, U.S. specifically, you know, down 3% for both S&P 500, the Dow, the NASDAQ 3.8%, Russell down 4.4%, and gold and oil, not so bad. Let me just see if uh, BNB, uh, Bitcoin's in there somewhere. Bitcoin's even down at 0.06%. So when you factor all that fun stuff in and you go over to the CFDs, uh, everything's pretty well negative, but there's some things that are positive. Namely, if you've been watching my videos, I've been talking a lot about the Hong Kong 33. It's been doing pretty good. Three point, sorry, 2.92% on early move. Oil is up 2.8%, uh, China up at 25 because it's 7 o'clock. The Asia markets are underway, and of course, gold will be up there because of the slaughtering in the U.S. markets. And India is another one I've been talking about as well. So clearly, the emerging markets um, are starting to uh, come back, despite what's happening in the U.S. So... That's a good thing. So if I go over to my CFD, uh, CFD uh, folder and show you the volumes there, as in here, as it loads up, obviously you're going to get some that will be a big player in the volume. But to be honest, who cares about the positive, it's really the, the oh, sorry, I like to focus right now on the positive, the profitable. 
You can see here HK33 is at number four at 10.34% in terms of volume. US30 still doing okay, um, but I think these are just short shorting opportunities. Oil is coming back. Gold is coming back at 6.38. Oil at uh, WTI specifically 6.26%. Uh, Gold is at 4.97%. And these volumes are very helpful for liquidity. They're still fairly okay. But right here on the NASDAQ, you can clearly see that's got to be shorting. Um, actually, it's not shorting. It's profitable right now, but figure that one out. Anyways, um, when you also look at the whipsaws that we've talked about, um, there are less, the movers, there's less whipsaws. Now, to be fair, there will be whips. There won't. There, there won't be as many whipsaws on the watch list. Why? Because the markets are opening up, and as you know, I track all the whipsaws for up to six to eight hours. Now, as the markets move up, or move um, with these whipsaw or these this watch list, they're not tracking for the last six to eight hours because they're not open. Specifically, are the Asian ones like the China fifty. Um, Hong Kong 33 and the oddly enough China, India is not on there as well so the only ones that would be kind of red flagged are HK 33 the Hong Kong China 50 um, WTI is still okay to trade it's up two plus percent so this would be something worth uh, looking at in terms of uh, China and Hong Kong, in terms of the watch list, those are be um, sort of high risk moves because I know that WTI trades 24 hours, whereas the Hong Kong and China, the heavy volume will be starting up uh, as the markets locally in those in China and, and Hong Kong open up over, of, over the last hour or so, as opposed to the last prior eight hours, which they won't be on a on a uh, on the, the the whip the whipsaw list because well there's been no activity so they will have to be watched very carefully uh, in terms of forex we have our usual culprits but it's actually cleaned up now remember forex is 24 hours so let me just move this over and show you um, that let me just move over uh, let me go to my dashboard here hopefully it'll be responsive enough doesn't look like it. Okay, so if I load up my um, FX report, which is right here, and I pull up the data, actually I can pull this up uh, for the Forex. Might wait a bit for that to load up. But in the meantime, here's the volumes generated about half an hour ago. Let's wait for this chart to load up. Okay, so you can clearly see where the volumes are. Number two, Euro and Turkish Lira. Pretty heavy volumes at 37.95. The volume here also is New Zealand and Swiss franc. Very interesting. It's, it's always random, and there's no rhyme or reason why this one or that one on the volume front. Now, if I was to show you the movers and bring up that chart. Where's my chart here? This one right here did a comparison. You can clearly see that the Euro Turkish Lira number two, which is has the highest volume right here at 148. Number two, and that's still that's still profitable, pretty good profitable too, 2.82% on an hourly basis, as well as number three or number two volume wise. 
is a New Zealand Swiss franc, that is at 1.2%. And that's the third most, or the third best mover, and that is at 1.2%. So there's some relationship there on the volume, which is good. Uh, but when you open up the, or sorry, the, uh, the watch list, this is where it gets interesting. So here's our watch list. Again, these are the watch list after the fact that we cross reference it with those whipsaws. And let's see what is, um, uh, that, that has not been whipsawed lately. So when you look at um, SGD, CHF is on the watch list. That's up 1.038, so that passes. USD, uh, Turkish Lira, that's on the watch list. Low, lower volume. The Euro, uh, Turkish Lira is on the watch list. So that means, and that's at 2.82% moving. So that is, is a good one to go with. That, that is on the watch list as well as the New Zealand uh, Swiss franc. Just out of curiosity, let me look at those charts. So uh, let's just check out a couple things specifically. So what we're focusing are the... Where's my... Uh, so what we're going to focus on here are the top two. So we're looking for Euro... Let's check out the spread for the Euro Turkish Lira. You can clearly see that there is a spread cost right here. That's going to be quite a number of pips. The other one is the New Zealand Swiss franc, which I'm sure that also has um, so this one right here well, that has some cost too in the spread. So is it worth trading uh, with the spread cost as a factor? The other thing we want to look at is just the hourly chart. So if we look at, again, the Euro Turkish Lira, and here's the hourly moves. You can see why there's been no Whipsaws because it's been flat over the last number of hours, five or six hours, where it, there has been big moves and then a big whipsaw, but that was past eight hours ago. So uh, <laughs> that one, again, is one of those things, do you really want to trade it? The other one's a New Zealand Swiss franc. Once again, we have the same dilemma. Um, there's been no activity. I mean, it is trending up, but it's got a kind of gone flat. And uh, just looking at the averages here, it is tightening up. So it's going to have to move one way or another. The momentum's still negative. One of those things I just don't know. So in terms of trying to find tr trends here, it's tough to say in any of these asset classes. But... The one that's been fairly consistent so far is Asia, uh, the indices for um, the uh, Hong Kong and China, as I've mentioned before. So those are the ones that have been pretty good so far. And now that we've had the U.S. markets get clobbered today, but yet the Hong Kong is up, China is up, that's a good sign. And um, it's not on, and, 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 and it is available. Yeah, but it's still kind of, let me, let me just see those charts as well. So that would be, so we want the report data, CFD, okay, right here. Okay, so what we're looking for, well, I know the spread really is no spread is not a concern, but I'll just look at it anyways. So, as I said, there's no spread cost at all for the Hong Kong 33. 
and uh, the hourly most profitable hourly move it is trending down very little moves it did gap up two days ago momentum's at zero it's at 50 with the RSI I think this could be a, a mover but that's based upon very short-term trades and I think it will whipsaw as well so again that's something to watch but would I it's not very convincing to trade right now gold let me just see if gold uh, is on the watch list I think it would be or better yet let me just check on the uh, bum, 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 bum. The uh, gold is up 2.01%. Is it whipsawing? But you can see here it last whipsawed at 12.01. I can confirm that in the chart. For some reason, I don't have the chart here. Uh, yeah, it's not in the top five. Now, the other one that is interesting is the German. The German... The German uh, DE Euro. Okay, so right now it's at 0 0.05. Yeah, it's really hard to say. Um, I'd be waiting it out for Hong Kong to see how it plays out. Hong Kong 33 and probably China as well. Other than that, I, I wish I could help you out further. Definitely cryptos, there's some exciting stuff there, but it's always random, so I gotta figure out uh, where to move from there. Also, I just wanted to note on the watch list, anything on the watch list is positive as a mover. So if it's more than 0.01% uh, to factor in the broker costs, the commission fees, it'll get added to the watch list but it's added to the watch list and and the rsi and the roc the rate of change is measured again to see if it's worth putting on to uh a, the, as a position so that's the next step i'll be taking i just wanted to walk you through where i'm at right now and where the market's really bad today it's really tough to say what what, what to go with um uh other than that wish i could give you a better answer we shall talk to you later